Hi guys, girls and girls, it's your boy Eraser from Eraser's Twisted Exploring. We're out in York today with my girlfriend. She's just getting the tickets right now, but we're going to have a look at this place here behind me. It's like a little museum. So yeah, we're going to have a look around. Barley Hall. as well household A little light pit here. What's that? What's this? Magic mystery. Marigold. Okay, this hair. Oh, so these are all different herbs then. I'm guessing. It's a funny shape sort of bread, isn't it? Drinking jugs, coffee, yeah. <laughs> oh, so they have different sections, like 14th century, 15th, 16th, late 16th. Oh, yeah, so bits have been added over the centuries. to the demonic. It's like, never mind the natural. There's 
just build that one. Head. In 16th century account, Bacon asks the devil for advice. Satan tells him that the head will speak after a few weeks, as long as it's powered by a continual fume of the six pottish. I can't see the light reflect on it. Simples. Plant used in. Plant used in. I can't see the lights flick. Or chemical medicine. Chemical medicine. The light is really right. nice. When the magical creation Station finally speaks. Finally speaks. Bacon. Yeah, bacon. <laughs> Roger Bacon, philosopher, is fast asleep and misses its words. Time is, time was, and time pass. Chance to question his creation about the secrets of the universe is gone and the head explodes. <laughs> no wonder it. it's been like. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's a brazen egg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, let's go just a little knife moving. You could eat that, couldn't you? <laughs> Wizards. Witches. Witches. Oh, sage. there it is. The St. John's. Sage. Yeah, I've got sage. I've got those to The death of Cardinal oh. Wolsey Woodcock. Oh, foot of a mole is a powerful charm as it can make Shipped a horse move. Oh, I've got all these too, honey. One Drake postcard. Pretty cool there. Yeah. What's that? that Todd Stone. Found in there, there was a Lord Todd. How would you know? How would you know the age of a Todd? Keep it, I suppose. Look, with all the stones. Made of mm. 
See, my, my wand is silver birch. No, my, my staff, sorry. Not my wand. Here. Juniper wand. The burning of juniper drives away serpents. The bark is used to treat leprosy. Okay, this has protective properties. Pineation can be performed by cracking open and then all cap or see what's inside. Hazel rods. Most popular wood for wands and stars and magical texts. It can be used in spells for finding treasure. Oh, that's pretty cute. It protects homes and livestock from witches and fairies. Yes. Practical measures. to the fairy world. Yeah, and what's with this guy here? <laughs> <laughs> you rat, you want to go up to there? Personally, you'd glue it. Oh, yeah, but apparently I'm going to be making a wand from this. You've chosen a very strange bit of wood. Not a bit of wood I would have chosen, but then again, that's why it's not my wand. It has double purposes. Produce magic and pop people on the end. <laughs> yeah, they got some little gems you can stick yeah. on. Oh, stick on gem things. Make it all pretty. Pink left, which is more by gloves and stuff like that, so you can't really stick anymore. Yeah, we got these blingy blingy ones. What have you got? Just the white ones. Oh, white ones. Clarity, really. I won't say that, but. Yeah, I love you one can of have each. one for love. I think this is supposed to be purple, which is usually mysticism. Mm. So we could. Uh, Just bling it up. You're going gonna, gonna to film your one. Where's no, it? don't put it in the air. You want to put it at the top? Pimp my wand. Pimp my wand. So, you know, we go with the magical bit. We'll have a bit of purple. I'll have a wand there you get the top of you. Look at that. Put a little silver idea. one there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you've done it. Yeah. Okay, that'll do. That's, oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Is that your little one? Is that your little one? Time to perform black magic. The old Miss Calls by Magic. Hi, Tess. There's some hats here. Not oh, Papa Tess. Yeah, this is you got cloaks as well. Goes with your jacket, that. Perfect dress.
of life and Ooh, yeah. I used to do palmistry years ago. And there is discrepancy on which line is which. It's a bit like um, when you do reflexology, there's always discretion on which line is which. But oh yeah, so one of these have the garden. Of them are the same, in the garden. Like your lifeline and apparently there's one that's not on here but folds in your wrist. These can account for 25 years each. Mm. Like how many how many um, folds you have in your wrist? There's 25 years of life, so it makes me 100 when I die. But mm. yeah. what did I do with my little papers? Mm. Dream was said to have revealed the structure of the cosmos. For the Roman general Scipio, I guess, he was shown the earth from above and the nine celestial spheres around it. His dream is described in the commentary of the dream of Scipio, I don't know, by Macrobius, a fifth century text that was hugely influential throughout the medieval period. These are often seen as prophecies, it's in part uh, to the Old Testament dreamers such as Daniel who interpreted the dreams of all of us and received visions himself from God in his dreams. Yeah, dream interpretations. What do you think the images in this dream could mean? A wolf. Oh, so that's what the dream thing would be, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's like have. showing you, like, having dreams, isn't it? Did you know that in the early days of cinema, going back, when black and white cinema, that quite often people would dream in black and white, because obviously your dreams are what you've seen in the day. A lot mm. of people watch, if they watch films in black and white, would often end up dreaming in black and white. Mm. Mm. Medieval prophets. There's Manly. I think we got carried away with that uh, head thing. So.
obviously as a book, um, all about magic. It's called um, Black Magic by Marjorie Bowen. It's a gothic horror no novel. Um, basically, I think it's set, it might be medieval, no, it might be a bit later, but these people start practicing black magic. Mm. And they eventually rise up, or one of them rises up to become the Pope. And he becomes an evil satanic pope. And it was written back in 17th century, I think. So it's either a 17th or 18th century novel. And it's really good. But they kill a priest and, yeah, ends up being pope. And, but it's all about them practicing black magic and summoning demons and stuff. It's a great early example of Gothic literature. Oh, yeah, this is that other side of that whole bit. It's quite hard. I was thinking that in there, it's quite a feast, isn't it? With big uh, sort of pig's head. Oh, look at pies. Oh, this is boring. So that's where they start them off. It's like a uh, Hogwarts. <laughs> 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 I think they're a bit too short for you. Oh. Me. I'm swinging my balls around early. <laughs> oh, see how it goes. <coughs> You're getting it on tip. <laughs> 